who's got the freaking gabagoo? Can we start the video with that one again? Hello and welcome to the workshop. We have a new pair of sneakers today, as you might expect. But before we jump into said sneakers, I want to talk to you about Bumble, who we have teamed up with. If you are not familiar with Bumble, it is an app where you can date, make new friends, you can network. But right now it's been tough to do that, right? There's stay at home orders. It's just been difficult to be social, to meet people, to date. So that's why we partnered with Bumble because I think it's really cool what they've done. They are providing a platform where you can do those things from the comfort of your own home. You can still put on your freshest outfit, a pair of exquisite sneakers, a brand new fitted hat, and have a virtual date right from your couch. You can find that connection. Bumble has an in-app video calling setup and it's just really dope. It makes it fun. It makes it easy to meet new people and the possibilities are really endless. You can use the in-app video to watch a movie together, play a board game, you can work out, you could even cook a meal together, whatever you want to do. So shouts to Bumble. We will put a link in the description of this video and you can go check out the app for yourself. And on that note, speaking of exquisite sneakers, we got a pair of Jordan 1s today. You know I love Jordan 1s. It's time to break them out. Buckets, drum roll. You want to do a countdown? What do you want to do? You're smiling behind the mustache back there. I don't want to do anything. Three, two, one, bang, bang. The Air Jordan 1 Royal Toe. Shouts to Kicks are for us for helping me secure a pair. Retail is 170 bucks, and these officially released today, May 9th, 2020. Although there was some early access on the sneakers app a week or two ago, I did try to get a pair during that early access. I was unsuccessful. By the time I saw it, it was just too late. In the words of Denzel Washington, Buckets, what quote am I going to say? I wish you had more, more time. time. There you go. I got to say though, having them in hand, I am kind of in the middle on these. Lots of people hitting us up asking, yo, how good are they? Are they worth it, et cetera, et cetera. Normal, typical questions, but I've basically been asking myself the same question. How good are they? Do I really love these? Now, first and foremost, I love the Jordan 1, so I am a little biased. It's one of my favorite sneaker models in the history of sneaker models. It's the colorway that I'm kind of in the middle on, or kind of on the fence in a way. Pretty standard colors, right? White, black, Royal. It's almost a reverse fragment vibe. I love the frags, but I did sell my pair a couple years ago. I know. Cue the sad music. Bucket, you edit in a tear falling, okay? I will not. So when I first saw pictures of these, I was like the Birdman hand rub. Insert evil laugh. <laughs> I can live vicariously through these and I can achieve my fragment dreams. In hand, I don't really feel those dreams have been achieved. I mean, it is a Jordan 1, so right off the bat, I gotta give them at least a seven out of 10, but there's just something about the color blocking that I'm not in love with. You got Royal on the toe box and ankle, as you can see. Black 
black on the toe and back and along the eyelets as well. Leather Nike on the tongue, that's a nice touch. White Wings logo. Crispy white midsole and the all royal outsole. There's not too much to them. It is a very clean colorway, don't get me wrong. I just own so many Jordan 1 sneakers. If you tune in regularly, like I said, you've seen me show, you've seen us show a lot of Jordan 1 sneakers. I guess I'll say this, I like the colors, I don't necessarily love the way they were executed. In other words, give me the royal one. Give me the fragment one. Like I'm acting like it's gonna fall from the ceiling. It's, there's no sneaker there. I would give these back in a heartbeat if I could have either one of those sneakers, but I guess that goes without saying. Moral of the story, I like them, I don't love them. Super wearable, of course. The Jordan 1 in general is such a wearable sneaker. And we talk about this a lot, but I think the Jordan 1 is one of the very few sneakers that really look better the more you wear them. A lot of sneakers look terrible once they're all beat up, but the Jordan 1, it ages like a fine wine. Better and better, more and more character. I think this particular silhouette, just something about it, it's meant to be worn. Buckets, do you agree? I agree with that. There you go. You know, Buckets doesn't agree with me often, so it must be true. I think I'm gonna stick with my initial rating on these. Seven out of 10. Buckets, what's the verdict? Five. Okay, so Buckets, as you know, or maybe you don't. If you don't, now you do. He's a very grouchy, he's a very harsh sneaker critic. Would you agree with that? No, I disagree with that. Okay, so Buckets is, he's a little out of touch. Let us know how you feel. How do you feel about this colorway? How do you feel about the Jordan 1 in general? What rating would you give these on a scale of one to 10? Actually, leave a comment. Let us know if we should customize these and turn them into the reverse fragments. We'll put the little lightning bolt down on the heel and I don't know, Buckets, is that a good idea or bad idea? Bad idea. Leave a comment below and let us know. You know, with him, I'm not sure if he makes sense, if he doesn't make sense. So you let us know in the comments what we should do. I trust you more than I trust him behind the camera. A man with a mustache like that, you just can't trust. However you feel, leave a comment below and let us know. Always love to hear from you. Thank you for watching. You are very, very appreciated. We will be back tomorrow. Same time, same place right here at the workshop with a brand new sneaker for your head top. I got nothing else. Adios.